clopidogrel. That may sound a little bit unfamiliar to you, but if I say the word Plavix, which is the trade name for the drug clopidogrel. Okay, this is a medication that many of your patients are going to be taking, especially the aging population, because what it is, is, is it is an antiplatelet agent. What does that mean? It simply means that it inhibits platelet aggregation. What do platelets do? Well, platelet, platelets, remember, are part of our whole clotting cascade. When platelets start to aggregate, we start to form a clot. So why would we want to give this to somebody? What would be the purpose of this? We a lot of times are going to give this to patients post myocardial infarction, post cerebral vascular accident, stroke, um, or for patients who suffer from acute coronary syndrome, things like angina. Okay, so for any patient who's suffering from these types of uh, disorders, diseases that cause that result from decreased blood flow from buildup of, of clots, we're going to give this medication to because we want to kind of thin their blood out. Okay, so this is what patients a lot of times will refer to as a blood thinner. Okay, so for like in the case of MI, MI, all that means is that we've lost oxygen to a portion distal to in the heart. Okay, so basically we have a clot somewhere and that's preventing blood flow, which means we're not getting oxygen to a portion of that muscle. We have an MI. Ischemic strokes is the exact same thing, but in the brain, okay? We have a clot somewhere, and we lose oxygen or blood flow to a portion of the brain, and that causes our stroke. Peripheral vascular disease, same kind of thing. Angina, same thing. So we really want to, in these patients, we really want to kind of thin their blood out, try to get the blood flowing despite that we, the fact that we might have clots kind of somewhere, okay? So that's why we're giving this medication. Again, it's clopidogrel, Plavix. Therapeutic class is antiplatelet agent. Pharmacologic class is platelet aggregation inhibitor. Same thing, right? Makes perfect sense. Now, the problem with this is we begin to thin their blood out. We can cause problems other places, right? We can cause GI bleeding, neutropenia, and hypercholesterolemia, okay? This may cause a risk for bleeding, obviously, increased risk for bleeding in a patient who's already taking morphine, aspirin, or heparin. So we really want to be very careful with these types of patients. Another thing you really want to keep in mind with this is that we're going to be monitoring uh, our CBC and platelet count daily. Okay, we want to understand what's going on with our platelets. Are we getting them? Uh, are we causing thrombocytopenia too far? Um, oh, and what's kind of our, our overall blood count looking like? We want to discontinue use five to seven days before surgery. Okay, very important that the patient is off this medication before surgery. So what can really happen with these patients is we have a patient who who's taking this medication and some sort of traumatic event occurs and then they need surgery okay so they're taking plavix but you know it's it's very unsafe to do surgery on these patients with that type of condition so we give them other medications to try to increase clotting times okay so we're going to monitor bleeding times on these patients uh it can also some things that can increase bleeding times or, or increase the risk for bleeding in these patients are things like garlic ginkgo and ginger okay so Really, it's just very logical if you think through this medication. If you think, why why are we giving it? What's it going to do? And then what are some conditions where, uh, you know, we're going to give this medication? MI, CVA, acute coronary syndrome, PVD, things like that, that are a result of decreased blood flow. And then what can happen by thinning the blood too much? We can cause bleeding other places and cause neutropenia. Okay, we want to be very careful to monitor our bleeding times and very careful to make sure the patient stops this five to seven days prior to surgery. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG. To keep the learning going, head over to medmastercourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST. MedMaster Course is the ultimate guide to nursing pharmacology with over 30 hours of video and audio lecture material. Never guess a med again, crush the NCLEX, and have confidence in your nursing pharmacology skills. Head over to medmastercourse.com, use the coupon code PODCAST. We'll see you on the inside.